The dark water whispers, waves gently sing as our submarine moves. The keen eye can almost see the edged cliffs of the elder continent, lighthouses and ships glimmer in the distance. We are in well-known waters, but even here the seafloor is largely unexplored. There are these stories about fishermen that have fallen overboard, getting eaten alive by the water itself. Others believe to have seen bound sharks that lost their way, getting overwhelmed by whatever lurks within the deep sea. I trust my ship and its layers of steel to protect us from these powers. We shall see what is behind these legends. As we explore the dark water, there is nothing to be seen for a while. The seafloor seems barren, devoid of life, wrecks and drownies. Amidst this underwater wasteland, there is only one exception. An unfamiliar shape, a structure unknown to us entirely, dominating the needle landscape. Encrusted with underwater mushrooms and lights like jewels, it stands as high as a grown man. Its light has many colors and is almost hypnotizing, not only to us, but to sea creatures too. Curiously, they come closer and closer as we approach the unknown structure, but only a few select seem to survive here. Bodies and bones of less fortunate creatures litter the floor all around us. As we silently pass see the unknown thing, it almost looks like a tiny city, a miniature version of the bazaar with high spires and towers, little streets and specks of movement. A colony of ants, tiny, six-legged creatures crawling all over and within it. They are almost too small to be seen, but their numbers are legion. As soon as their vigilant guards notice us, they swarm out and try to rip apart the submarine. They hunger. Surely they do not have the strength necessary to tear us open yet, but we will not wait to find out. Like many creatures of the Neath, these ants seem oddly intelligent and organized. One could almost believe that deep within this hive there is a queen watching us and testing our defenses, ready to find out our weaknesses. Let us go far away from here, before the ants feast on our bodies too.